Hey guys, Blader Z here with another unboxing. I don't do these often. And, uh... <clears throat> sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different. I'm coming down with a cold. And... And this is my <laughs> super fancy backdrop. Yeah, I don't have a lot of money for actual recording studios like some people. Anyway, on a less depressing note, I have the Chosette Triple Booster set. I'm really excited to unbox this, but first, I do have to say I have recently hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, this has kind of been like the dream for me since I started my YouTube channel. So this is just really awesome. But I'm going to get into this because I'm really excited for this. So as you can see, this comes with three bays. This Hazard Cabeus, Zed Achilles, and Wolborg. In the back, it shows you their parts. We got a Hazard Cabeus, 7 Chief Atomic, Zed Achilles, 3 Dagger Destroy, and Wolborg 8 Bearing. Now this set is awesome because it comes with the three best drivers in the game for each type. <coughs> and I don't have Buster... Jeez, sorry. I don't have Buster Excalibur for the frame, but I do have... I do have Seek Excalibur, so we're going to see how the dagger frame looks on that. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And we're going to open this up. Don't play with knives, kids. Alright. Stickers and whatnot. Yeah, you can have the code. I can't use it. Stickers look not too terrible. Set that off to the side, and we have the three bays. Move that out of the way so I don't cut myself. That would be really bad. Whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. I've never opened a triple booster before, so this is part, that's part of why I'm so excited for this. Here we are. Three bays. I'm definitely going for Hazard Cabeus first. Free. Free the layer. And got it. Is Hazard Cabase's layer. Well, those don't actually push in very far. Huh. No, oh, it's an interesting idea, but kind of failed to care, tell me. Oh, well. Uh, I'll rip this open. This is my first painted disc. It's a nice. Stop. It's a nice green seven. And the driver. This is awesome because this is an amazing driver. Come out. Atomic. So it's got the free spinning ball here and the free spinning ring. The free spinning ball is fairly large. In size, the ball on yard. Yeah, it's like twice the size of the ball on yard. You can see that. Neat. Now let's put. Whoa. Ugh. 
Oh, well, actually, it's pretty much akin to Hell Salamander's teeth. <laughs> if I had a level chip, it would be better. But there's as it could be, so I will put the stickers on later. But let's just keep moving on. So this one kind of sucks for me because this is my first Zed Achilles. I don't have the original. And I like getting all the originals, but it's still a cool recolor. The gold Zed Achilles. Uh, the only part in this entire set that I already have is seven. Everything else is brand new for me. Come on. Come on, so here's the red three. Pretty nice. Three's not, well, it's not a very good disc, but oh well. Here's the new dagger frame. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Here's what they look like together. Hold on. There. Make sure it's locked. And finally, destroy. Ooh, that spins real nice. Sorry. Uh, is destroy a really nice attack driver and the plate on mine spins really nice nice and smooth <coughs> whoa oh wait what huh well, I was having a bit of trouble with the teeth there for some reason it's kind of bulky but I'll be taking that dagger frame off anyway, so, yeah. And finally, probably the least exciting, then again, it does come with bearing and eight, but the least exciting layer-wise is Warborg, because it's not a very good layer. But, as I'm sure many other Baytubers have said, if you watch any other Baytubers, that these are really more for collection purposes only. Here's the layer. It's very bland without the stickers, but that'll be fixed later. Oh, let me get this trash out of here. The 8 disc, it's a pretty good disc, fairly heavy, it's nice, it's nice. Oh, wow. So, here's bearing. That spins really nicely. But this spring is super weak. I mean, I knew it was extra weak, but I didn't know it was that weak. But here's the bay. Put together. Nice, nice. And... You have the three bays together, and I will be right back with the stickers. So, I'm back, and here are all three bays with their stickers on. Uh, before I show you them, I do have some bad news. While I was putting Hazard Cabeza stickers on, I lost one of the little, one of the little triangle things that I was trying to put on. And I decided that since I didn't want it to be uneven, I just didn't bother putting the rest on. Still looks pretty good. But this is my favorite out of all of them. Kubeus. It actually does have a gimmick. These little train things can be... Uh, yeah, they do that. They don't go in very far. So I already knew that uh, this gimmick didn't actually do much. But it seems like a pretty a halfway decent defense type. It's got an amazing driver. A really good disc and it's just meh layer. But it looks cool. And it's a chose that's a Kubeus. I, I can't complain about that. Oh and by the way, I never showed you. Uh the box actually shows the owner 
of Kubeus, and it is not Kensuke. It is Kyle Hakim. And this is actually the first time he was ever uh, depicted without his mask. Obviously, in the recent episodes of the anime, we've seen him without his mask, but before those episodes, this is the first time we've ever seen him without his mask. Sorry if that looks really blurry. Kyle Hakim. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Alright. Next is the Achilles. I really like the stickers on this one. I like the flame stickers on the swords that I wish came on the original Zed Achilles. Don't really get the point of these just solid red stickers. But, eh. Again, still looks incredibly bulky to me. And yeah. Then Warborg probably has the best stickers of them all, even though it's probably the worst bay. Looks really nice, gives you that classic gen feeling. Yeah, nice. It's not going to be very good, it's incredibly light. Driver has a very weak spring. I'm going to do some. A little bit. Sorry, tongue tied. I am going to do some test launches. But first, I have Seek Excalibur. So. I'm gonna take this. Come on. This dagger frame is really tight. Come on. And it doesn't like to come off. Ah! Oh. <coughs> Sorry, I got it. Yeah, honestly, that looks better without the frame to me. But we're gonna put oh crap, fail. We'll put dagger on the seek Excalibur. Get the line up. And here's Seek Excalibur with Dagger on. Nice. And see the things line up. The dagger frame like sticks out almost more than the sword. That's kind of neat. But this would probably be better than Buster. I twisted it the wrong way. This is probably better than Buster Excalibur. I mean, I already know that Seek Excalibur is better. Maybe not mine, because the teeth are kind of worn out. But Seek Excalibur is a good bay. It's got a better driver. A much less confusing gimmick. Mostly because it doesn't have a gimmick at all. Okay, I'm going to be right back with my stadium, and we're going to do some test battles. Well, more like test launches. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my stadium. And, yes, this is duct tape. Because I hate those stupid gutters. Make my life miserable. And I can't afford a real Takeratomi stadium. They're expensive. So, this is the next best option. And, I finally get a string launcher. So, first, we're gonna test launch Hazard Cubeus. First, a straight launch. Go. Getting a bit of movement. The ball and the atomic driver moving. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the orientation just because it's a bit easier. Right. I'm going to give that another go with a bit of a stronger launch. There we go. That was a good launch. Uh, with it to the sideways orientation, I would hit my laptop that I'm recording with if I pulled too hard. Okay, that was a straight launch. Now we're going to see it in an angled launch. Go. Oh, interesting. You see that okay? Yeah. Alright. 
look at that. Except is that Achilles? No frame. Should I put the frame on? Nah. Oh. Actually, you know what? For the sake of keeping it in dang it. For the sake of simply keeping it in the combo it came with, I'll put the frame on. Boo. Frame is on. Go. Interesting. Not too much speed off of destroy. Not quite as much as iron or jolt. Or even reboot, I think, gets more speed. I probably just didn't get rid of a very good launch. Okay, angle launch. Three, two, one, go. Shoot! <laughs> nope, that didn't fix anything. So I just mean if I can fix my camera. Alright, All right, I'm gonna let it kind of spin out a bit. I just wanna see what the life after death looks like. Let's get warboard ready. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Next up, Warborg. I'm not gonna do an angled launch with Warborg. Because I don't really see any point. Three, two, one, go shoot! And straight to the center. Well, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all again for a thousand subscribers. It means a lot to me. And I will see you next time.